So here we have the fuse box. Front control mods are removed. I've pulled these four relays out just to get them out of the way. The first thing you have to do is cut the three heat stakes. These are where towers come up from the bottom of the box and then they meld them down to hold the two sections together. Just take your screwdriver and dig them out. You'll get a few pieces like this. Then separate the upper and lower half. Start over here in this section. Seems to be a little bit easier. And then just work your way around a little bit. These are where your heat stakes came from. And then there's snaps around. Flip it over. This is your circuit board where the problems always happen. You can see here it's exposed to some weather and the moisture coming in is what causes the corrosion. Pull your circuit board off. You got to be gentle. Try not to scratch it because then you could do more damage than we already have. It wouldn't be a bad idea to wrap your screwdriver in some tape or use a plastic sort of praying tool. Pull it off. Look for any open circuits, any green corrosion. What we have on this one here is this tiny spot in this line here. This pin is where it connects to the front control module here. The circuit runs right along here and this is the, the relay driver for the park lamp relay coming from the front control module. The ground travels from the front control module through here and then here to turn your park lights on. So what you have here in this little green area is corrosion that's opened up the circuit. So what you want to do scrape out any corrosion you find. Be careful not to bother the circuits next to it that are really close. You want to scrape it back on each side. And a smaller screwdriver would work better for this. Scrape back on each side of the corrosion spot until you get some nice shiny copper there that you can solder to. Since it's so close to the other circuits here, if you got a little sloppy with your solder and it bled over into another circuit, if the solder started to touch any of these, then you would short circuits together. If you have any doubts whether you're going to do that or not, you can take a little bit of just some clear silicone. Take some silicone. And this one's solid. Take some silicone and just just seal over the circuits next to it and let it dry before you solder. That way it'll, it'll give a, a barrier that won't let the shorts happen. 
when you go to fix it, when you go to solder it, it's it's not easy. The solder does not want to stick. The best way I've found use a good good hot iron and some really fine solder, the finest solder you can find. The the easiest way is to do something like this really gently and really is to let let the solder drip down onto where you're working and let it drip down now you have to keep moving while you do that to let your line form and just run across there if you do have a problem get it warm uh, a wet moistened towel or rag and you can wipe it off once you get done with that once the solder is in place then you can go back over the whole repair with some more so with some more silicone and that'll seal it from the weather and that's pretty much it put it back together you gotta be gentle don't bend any of the pins these all engage you the relays or fuses make sure everything's lined up and in place before you before you go see no pressure and it's going by itself then go ahead and snap it together here again you have to be careful because these pins come through the bottom where all your large electrical connectors are Snap it all back together. You obviously won't have your heat stakes holding on anymore, but it's snapped in all the way around and it's not it's not coming apart. Put it all back together. Put back any relays or fuses that you might have taken out. And that's pretty much it. Bolt your front control module back on and put it back in the truck and you've saved about $430.